Hello everyone, I'm DragoWolf and welcome back to Minecraft Stoneblock. When we last left off, we were trying to make the, the cobble works better. As you can see, I cleaned this room up just a little bit. And I made it single stack with these new machines, the pulverizers. Oh my goodness, from Thermal Expansion. I can, I can make the whole thing that was like that, like the whole span of this room, to just a stack. Just, just easy. And basically the way I have it set up is the cobble comes in, it gets turned into gravel, gravel goes down here because I have it set up to where it auto outputs down here, gravel comes down here, makes dirt, and then comes down here to turns into sand. Now if I want to turn that sand into dust, I'll have to put it into like say another one of the pulverizers over here. Uh, but this I think will do fine. Um, and I also have it set up to where it auto outputs, I have that one auto outputting out the back, so I have this one outputting this to the back. This drawer is full, so this machine is backed up, which is what we want, because that means we have at least one stack of sand, which we can have, uh, and because of the, the, the progress we made last time, we actually set this system up to where it can be recognized by our uh, refined storage system. This right here is making uh, dirt, which I just added dirt because today we're going to actually do, start using some of this dirt for our project. It's almost full. Uh, and then once this starts getting backed up, this will get backed up. And then as we need it, it'll go, you know, it'll start working again. But this can also be sped up. Right now we don't have the ability to do so. Uh, so today what we're going to start working on is the agriculture stuff. Uh, we're going to work on mythical agriculture, as, or get as much of it as we can. So essence base, we want to try this. We've already got the uh, prosperity because we found prosperity shards in the nether. Uh, our inferium is coming from our creatures that are being killed in our monster room. Uh, prudence essence, I, I don't know why that didn't count, but we can... Uh, I don't know why this infusion crystal didn't work either. So let's go upstairs. Let's grab some of this dirt. I know that's what we need. We need this dirt. I got two stacks in a piece because I, I, off camera, I opened this room up. Oh, hello, Mr. Energetic Sheep. How are you? Oh, okay. Okay. You, you just chill out there. Uh, I did do a little bit of research and find out like what would be the better way to, to make this room more efe uh, efficient. Make it to where we can, you know, uh, automatically harvest our crops without us having to do it manually. Uh, some of it we may need to manualize. We, I may make a little room off in this. Actually, uh, we'll have to, to share space with our um, our sist our, our ender port or nether port over there. I may make it right here because our nether port is right there. Um, but uh, for right now. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to get the crystal. Uh, yes, this infusion crystal. There we go. Infusion crystal should be complete. Yeah. Claim that reward. And let's check what's in our chest. Ooh, some more ultimate upgrades. Dude, I love those things. I love that reward. So that's cool. Uh, and then we want to make some prudence. Uh, make some of this. Yes. Can we make some of this? Yes. Can we get the request word for that too? Okay. Claim it. Awesome. Ooh. Mirrors from Solar Flux Reborn. We got uh, Voltaic Cells 1. Volsea uh, vol vot Photovoltaic two Cell 2s. 3s and 4s. Oh, that's a nice reward. Oh, my goodness. That could actually get us started on... Even though we don't have the ability to actually uh, get solar power, we could probably use that for the solar panel Mark 1s. Uh, let's see, solar panel Mark 1s, yes. Which takes three of the mirrors. Yeah, we could technically do that. But uh, we'll wait We'll wait on that. We'll, we'll put that off for another day. Uh, what we're working on today is, is mythical agriculture. So, inter, intermediate essence. Uh, we just need to craft some, it looks like. So, how do we make an intermediate? Um, intermediate, there it is, which just takes four prudium. Okay, so let's make some of this. One, two, three, four. And then we should be able to make that. There we go. That quest should be to complete. Awesome. 
Uh, nine nature cores. What do those do? Random things. Um, what uses do you have? Painted. Random things. Actually, is there a book at random things? Uh, book. Is there a random things book? No, there's an enchanted book. Is there a manual? No. Oh, random things, huh? I've never, I've never dealt with this mod before. Enchanted book, analog emitter. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. White stained bricks. All right, I don't know what that's for, but uh, we'll put it away for now. It just, it may be just a, uh, what is it? Uh, Natura nature block. Yeah, this thing right here. Hmm, it may be just a block that looks pretty. I don't know. All right, next. What do we need to do next? Uh, to make some premium essence, we need... How do you make some premium essence? Probably... If I had to guess... Supreme... There we go. If I had to guess to make some premium essence, yeah, we need... Uh... Superemium and Supremium. Ah, so there's two. So it just needs four inter intermedium. Okay. We should be able to do that. That shouldn't be too difficult. All right. So let's do... Let's make some more of this. We needed four, right? And then we'll pick these up. And then we'll make this. We need four of these. So we need... Um, what is it? Essence? Let's just look up Essence. Yeah, we've got a lot of this Interferium, so let's do... We need eight more. Ooh, we're not going to have enough. We're not going to have enough. So we may have to hold off onto that until we get more. Uh, but what I want to start doing is Inferium Furnace, or we can start going with these. Base Metal Ingot. Uh, Base Essence Metal Ingot. So how do we make that? Metal ingot, uh, metal ingot essence. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Base essence ingot. So that is from mythical agriculture. So let's go at mythical. Is it mythical or mystical? Mystical. Okay, mystical. So, at Mystical, base, yeah, this guy. So, how do we make this? We just need an iron around some prosperity shards. That's it? That looks super easy. We got that? Yeah, claim that. And we get some more upgrades. Oh, dude, I'm loving these rewards. So, what's next? Uh, we need Inferium Ingot. What are we? What are these used for? Actually, I wonder. What are you used for? Uh, mythic, uh, mystical machine frame, mystical block. We make inferium ingot like that. That's used to make the inferior uh, inferium fertilization core, and a inferium tool core, and an inferium armor core. Okay. It's also used to make uh, medium covalence dust. Oh, I didn't even. Uh, that's that's something. Way beyond our means, but we should be able to do this. Let's do essence again. So I should be able to upgrade this once. To get that. There we go. Claim that reward. Ooh, some overclockers from IC2. I don't know if we're going to get into IC2, but uh, it's there if we need it. So now what do we need? Uh, see, tier 1 crafting seed. I thought we made these. We did make those for that over there. But apparently I guess we didn't keep it in our inventory. So tier 1 crafting. Tier 1 crafting seed. Yes. I need this please. So can we get the uh, ding 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 on that? Uh, base crafting seed. Oops. Wrong thing. Yeah we've got a bunch of these. There we go. And we got some mythical fertilizer. Ooh, I might actually make good use of that. I might actually make really good use of that. 
because uh, so that way we can get started with some of our ore. All right, what's next? Tier one crafting seed, we got that done. Uh, tier two crafting seed. Oh, we already have that in our inventory, so there we go. Ooh, some more mythical fertilizer. Wow, that's some good stuff. That's some really good stuff. And we're just plowing through these quests here. Tier two. Yeah, we need a tier two seed. Tier two crafting seed. There we go. We should. Ooh. Yeah, we don't have, we probably don't have the stuff. Yeah, we don't have the stuff. We have enough for three. Uh, can we b reduce this? Yeah, there we go. We should have enough for it now. Yeah. We'll put that intermediate stuff away. Intermediate. Claim that reward. We, I, I, we, ooh, an ultimate furnace. Dude. Ultimate furnace. Uses. There is no uses for that. Oh my goodness. We might actually use this bad boy for our, uh... Can we pick it up now? Yeah. We might actually use this furnace as our, uh... As our auto-crafting furnace. Because I heard the f ultimate furnace is really, really good. Oh, that's plus 9,001. It's over 9,000! Oh, that's so cool. Uh, okay, so... Now that we've got that reward, well, we'll we'll work on that later. Let me put this in my bag. Just yeah, you stay in there, stay in there. So, what resource do we find ourselves most wanting? So we do we can actually make any of these uh, resources here, uh, but the one that I'm wanting to get the most and try to do right now is blaze rods, uh, because we we don't really have uh, any way of. Farming. I mean, I could go to the nether, I can farm those guys up, but it is it is very, very troublesome. Uh, but it's just five essence that makes three. So how do we make this essence? Well, we need a tier four seed, so we need some premium. We may have to hold on off on that. Uh, but we do have our, our system over here just... Hey, energetic sheep. Uh, we have our sulfur, which we... Uh, we had set up so like i was saying at the beginning of the episode there is i do have a, a means of of wanting uh or i did some research on what could be the p best potential way to farm all of this stuff up and i'm going to change how this is is done i'm going to have like rows of stuff except for maybe like the sugar cane uh because i do need rice to make uh like rice balls and things of that nature the dough to turn it into to like slime balls because we don't have slime just yet. Uh, I do want to make a row of ender pearls because uh, even though we're we are getting some ender pearls from our dark room over there, we're not getting enough. So I'm gonna see if I can't get some more in stone, which we can easily craft. Like we got this in stone here. We may even have some more in stone. Let's take take a look. I don't think I have any more ender lilies though. Uh, ender. Uh, we've got a bunch of ender daisies and some ender fragments. I don't have any ender lilies. Uh, where do ender lilies come from, please, sir? They come from sieving um, crushed in stone in string mesh. That's also where you get coarse fruit and ender shards, which we can make good use of those. Uh, let's see. We can also get them from loot bags from the uncommon. So let's go see if we have any uncommon loot bags. I imagine we do. We should be able to make a bunch of them. We should have a bunch of them. So we have ep a lot of uh, 1,100 epic ones. We have 1,100 legendary. Common. Oh, we have 1,100 of each. That's, wow. Uh, so we have a bunch of these uncommons. Let's go ahead and open some of them up. Chance cubes. Let's just drop that. Yeah. And let's just go over here and stand by our system. We got some cake. That's awesome. All right, let's open up another one. Ooh, chance cue and more string. Ooh, feathers. I may... Is there a way to open these? Is there a loot, like a loot uh, bag opener? Uh, at loot. Is there a loot opener? Bag opener. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's do that. Um, bag opener. Do we have the stuff for it? Yes, we do. 
So if we put this, say, here, and I put the bags in there. Wow, it doesn't even need power or anything. Ooh. That's awesome. More feathers. Glowstone. We got a lesser magic bean. What is that used for? Ooh. Punji sticks. That this is this is too cool. This is too cool. Ooh, a bucket of milk. I will put that away. Uh, tier one chance pin. Yeah, I don't want none of that. We've already encountered that before. Quartz enriched iron. Ooh, nether wart. Yes, we are going to plant some nether wart today. Then soul sand. That's perfect. What is this? Fire charm. Fire protection while carrying on. Right click toggle on not. Ooh, hello. Can I equip it? Yes, we can. Ender lilies. Yay. We got some. We got some more nether wart. Prismarine. Got another water bucket. An iron wand. Got a bunch of quartz enriched dry iron. Let's just start taking all this stuff out. And putting it in the system. Oh, that's so awesome. There's just a lot of stuff we can get from, from that. And I'm I'm super super happy about that because our you know, we're getting feathers from chickens, got our ender lilies like I wanted. I may even go one step further. Let's put all of this there. There we go. Put all of that away. Put that away. Let me go. Let me grab a hopper. Got three hoppers. Let's grab a hopper. I'm getting sidetracked again. Oh my goodness! I just noticed I'm getting sidetracked. Let's fill this up. There we go. Uh, we'll just put this in here. And I'll put this in here. Oh, some more ender lilies. Well, I'm, I'm glad I did this again because I do want some more ender lilies for sure. Put those in there. More puffer fish. I don't know what those are used for, but. Bottle of enchanting. Man, this is awesome stuff. If I would have known all this, I probably would have opened, uh, been doing this. Harvest and replant large areas. Ooh, we could use that. If I would have known that all this stuff was available at this time. Man, I would have been, I would have been doing this a long time ago. Right click mobs to pick them up. Ooh, we might actually do that eventually. End stone, we need that. More silicon. Uh, storage upgrade. I might go. Put that, let's see, where would be a good place to put this storage upgrade? Uh, do you have a storage upgrade, Mr. Apples? Yes, you do. What about you? You have none, so go on you. Because I need a lot of that Inferium Essence from the mobs. Speaking of, I do need to go back to the end eventually. I haven't done that yet. I haven't been back to the end since, uh, or not the end, to the nether since uh, we went there and had that uh, long trek back and forth to try to get ourselves, our, our inventory and stuff back. I need to go and farm myself some, um, some uh, essence, some of the, the evil essence, a drop of evil, that's what it is. I'll need to uh, get myself a drop of evil, so that way we can actually um, make a, a true dark room. But anyway, we've got fish. Got bricks. Let's put all in our system. Uh, so what I want to do is I'll have this for specific gardening areas, but I do want to set this up here. And this is probably going to be where I put my end, uh, end stuff. So give me that and that. And we'll plant our lilies. They plant. They they work on end stone. And it, uh, ooh, we almost have enough, almost have enough. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm getting that, getting some, uh, sidetracked. I already went ahead a, a, ahead of time and made the machine. It is the harvester from cyclic. Uh, I did all the research. The farmer from ender IO does just a small, small area. Uh, it can be upgraded eventually, but it does. It takes a lot more. You need tools. Uh, and you need things like that, where this one automates automated gentle harvesting. And it does require power, which is fine. 
But I did realize in in my testing that this thing right here does a 15 by 15 area. And if we do the preview render, it covers this entire room. It covers this entire room. So anything that I plant within the border or inside here will work. So like if we, if we take all these plants up and I'll, I'll do like this all the way over here, I do need the water sources. Which I think one goes there. Yeah. Let's grab a, a, a bucket of water. Actually, let's do this. And V to empty. There we go. Bucket of water. Uh, another thing that I want to make, and I hope I have enough uh, stuff for it. Let's turn that off. Is another way to, to speed up the growth of each of these plants. Uh, and it is called fertilized farmland gives gives plants a random no that's not it what was it uh, fertilized farmland from that's that's not it what are the uses of whoops uses of dirt i know dirt is in the recipe uh graveyard soil no that's not what i want where is it there it is there it was a little bit of rotten flesh, a little bit of bone meal makes fertilized dirt. Okay, that, that's the name of it. It's from Random Things. So, fertilized dirt. Can we make some of this, please? I don't know how much we can make, but we'll make as much as we can. At least a stack? Oh, okay, we're out of rotten flesh. That's cool. That's okay. That's okay. We'll make good use of this. Uh, so, things like... Really thing, or things that are important to us. Like... Um, Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's replace this. I'll do all this. So this is rice. So let's replace this with this. Uh, let's see. Do we need another water source? One, two, three. Potentially another water source there. Yeah. To, to make it work that way. Uh, I don't know if it goes through rock, but we'll do like that just to make sure. And we'll do like this just to make sure that goes through like that. Oops. Uh, there we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab these rice seeds. Wow, that was a lot of rice seeds. And I'm going to Can we not plant on this. Um, how, how to how to use compared to vanilla farmland fertilized dirt does not require any nearby water blocks increases the growth of plants okay so we don't need water so i could pick this back up and fill this back in uh do i not have any more blocks i mean no uh something tells me i still need to till it Yeah, still need to till it, which is fine. That's fine. But it doesn't need water, so what we should be able to do is just yeah, there we go. And increases. Uh, go back to it. Let's go back to it. Uh, does not require any nearby water blocks. Increases the growth of plants by a factor of three, and crops aren't uh, aren't destroyed when entities walk over slash jump on them. If you want plants to crop, uh, want plant crops on it you need to till the, till it with a hoe if i would have read that i would have been okay so i should be able to uh i probably want to get a, a shovel there we go we should be able to do this and we don't need water anymore after this point uh but we'll still have still have water for a little things because we need water for our sugarcane unless unless sugarcane yeah sugarcane can't be planted on it so yeah we're still gonna need water for the sugarcane but that's okay i'm not too worried about that so we got a row of actually i probably want two rows two rows of of um uh, slime or 
I keep calling it slime, but rice. Want two rows of rice. So that way we can get slime balls and things of that nature. And granted, uh, let me break this. Granted, yes, I know it's probably going to grow super fast. And I probably don't need as much as I'm making. But it's better to overdo than underdo and then have to, to replant later. We should be able to till this up. And place the seeds. Yeah, like that. And then we're going to have a couple of rows back here. And we'll have this still here. I don't know why I did that. but We'll have these seeds put up. Put that up, put that up, put that up, that. I uh, don't need that just yet. String. Uh, we'll have a row of nether wart. I'm going to put that, put this over here. Get out of the way, sheep. Go on. Nether wart is another one of those that doesn't need... It doesn't need anything other than nether wart itself to be planted. Hopefully we can get another... Uh, I could fill that out with end stone already. Hopefully we don't... We get another ender lily soon. So, end... Yeah, we've got 11 end stone. We'll go ahead and fill that out. And we can just start filling this area in with, with just various plants. Uh, I may have two rows of sugar cane, which I may move over here. Uh, so that way I can have a little water source in between them, which will need some more sand. But I'll need water in between them, which is fine. As we'll have that all ready to go. Let's go grab some sand from our system. Sand right there. That should be good. And then sugar cane. We've got a bunch. We should be able to do this. Is there snad in this? Snad? Snad is in this pack. Ooh. Yeah. I like snad. Snad is good. That is awesome. Uh, we need some more stone. Stone. Thank you. Fill in that over here. Like this, and then we can fill this in too. Yes. Okay, so... There's snad. And if people are asking what, you know, if you're thinking to yourself, what in the world is snad? Snad is a lovely invention. It is a, I think it meant to be as a joke a uh, long, long time ago that uh, the whole situation between, like, a lot of people said that when, back in the day when vanilla Minecraft was a thing, um, which it's still a thing, but a lot of people said that uh, sugarcane grew faster on dirt or grew faster on sand than in water. Uh, and it was just, a, I guess, more or less, this is a meme because somebody made a mistake and said snad. I think that's, I think that's what I heard. Who knows? But uh, we've got that set up now. We've got uh, sugarcane. We've got nether wart. Uh, but the main thing is uh, I need to run power to this big boy here. And I also want to hook it up to our system. At the same time, I want to make sure that we get a drawer for these. Uh, so we don't necessarily fill up on them too much in the system. So drawers, let's just grab 10. We should have enough wood. We should. Yeah, we got, we got enough. I'm gonna put this away, put this away. And we'll go add this to our system in here. So we should be able to put, I don't know, should I put it in the small ones? Nah. Put it in big ones. There we go. Let's grab our key to lock it down. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. All right. No, uh. Oh, I almost had it. There we go. Ah, uh, that's 
that's what that's what I get when when the system is told to put that there first. Ugh, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Black seeds. Yeah, I'll need to make a small thing for seeds. Yeah, uh, drawer. Make a couple of these. Probably teach the system how to make these. Because uh, I'll have, like, mini drawers going up the side for the seeds. We don't really need seeds. Because of the way it the, the system is set up. Uh, I've put away my axe by accident. But yeah, we don't need seeds to pick, like, due, due to the fact that the system is set up a certain way. Um... We, like, the way it's it pulls it up, it just lifts the top part off and the rest of it keeps growing. But we really don't need the seeds that are that are produced off of it. Oh. Sometimes the system is just too good for its own good. It's too... It does... It's... Oh, it's just too good for its own good. Like, if that's even a, a saying. But let's put the key to this. There we go. Uh... Can we get this out of here? Oh. Let me just break this. This is going to take forever to cl clean because there's four of them. No! Give me that! Oh. Gotta do it again. There we go. Get it between that one tick line. Alright, so let's see. We've got our... Yeah, we've got all that. We don't need... We need all that. We need all that. Okay. Let's go put this stuff away, grab some of the seeds that we have. Put that away. Uh, keep the uh, We don't need the dirt anymore. Fresh quartz. Soul stand we're done with. Uh, that. Uh, let's grab some seeds. Like flax seeds. Rice seeds. Uh, we haven't planted any pumpkin, canola, beetroot. Yeah, we need to, we need to plant the beetroot. Uh, coffee, industrial hemp. I think industrial hemp is is the same thing as the flak, but I think we'll have one row of industrial flak and one row of flax. Um, so that way we can work with that. Uh, okay, so let's go over here and put these rice seeds in here. Uh, oh yeah, I need another, I will need a void upgrade, please. Void up. Yes, hopefully we have enough. Yes, we do. Actually, we'll need a lot more void upgrades, but for now, I think we'll be alright. So we'll put all the seeds over here, so we'll go that. Uh, flax, we'll put there. And then whatever seeds we have left over, we'll put in there. So we should still have some farmland left. Yes, we do. We have the fertilized dirt. And we've still got that. So, let's see. I want the... Let's go ahead and uproot a lot of this. I can uproot all of these because we've already got a sugarcane farm there. And we will take this up. I should really get a shovel. We'll replace this with farmland. There we go. And make sure, oops. Make sure that's that. And then we'll have, like I said, we'll have row, one row of flax, which I probably need to go get some more flax seeds. But we'll have this row. We have this row here, and then this row, let's just clean all this up. It's going to get moved anyway, but we're going to have all the plants. We're going to have all the plants, and if I have to make this room bigger, I'll just get another one of these guys. These guys are awesome. And since we don't necessarily need water, actually, just do that. There we go. And we need to replace this and this. Oh, we're getting low. Getting low. Uh, and then this will be the last two. We'll just get some more as as we have the abil availability. And then this row here will have the industrial hemp. Which does exactly the same thing as the flax. 
but to, to have a variety just in case we might need it in the future. I don't think there's a separate a separate for rice, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I have to remember that we have uh, the growth crystals down there, uh, and hopefully eventually I'll have growth crystals on all four of the quadrants. Uh, I guess what I need to do is just open up a lot more loot bags. But I tend, I tend to think that I should open those guys on camera because, I don't know, a lot of people like that, I guess. I don't know. So we'll put the carrots away. We'll grab some more flax. Uh, we got a bunch of flax seeds. This should be enough to, to finish this off here. Yep. Um... Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I don't have any more dirt, so it really wouldn't matter. Okay. So that's that. Now, I don't know if the, if the fertilized dirt will actually work for the industrial crops or the mythic, mystical crops, but I'm willing to give it a try once we have enough, uh, enough stuff. Do we have any more flesh? No. Can we make rotten flesh? We can make it with zombie essence zombie seeds which we need to chunk a zombie which needs a tier one mob chunk uh how do you make a tier one mob chunk mob chunk there is a solidium sword used to obtain mob chunks so we need a solium ingot which needs solium dust which is soul dust which is soul stone smelting. Oh, that's the that is the use of the soul stone. Ah, so we'll have to go get some chunks of, of creatures later. We got tier one. So we'll have to I'll have to find a way to, to get these mobs spotting to get these chunks. If we're gonna do something like that. But once we get once we get the, the a proper dark room, we probably don't even need that, honestly. Um so let's do some beetroot. We'll have some beetroot right here. We'll do it on the normal, the normal thing. Uh, so give me some grass and uh, there's not grass. Give me some dirt uh, until we have the availability to do so. Because I do want to have like a, an actual straight up farm. Um, so having this here, we will need water. So let's grab. Put that water source back down, please. I have no idea what that did. Uh, there we go. No idea. No idea. Okay. That should work. Keep that up and running. Uh, once we get some more industrial hemp, we can work on that. Once that grows. And we can uh, go ahead and fill it all the way back to the back. Let's grab this. Like that. Fill all this in. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Ooh, we've got some beets already. And awesome. We got some more seeds. So we'll have a row of beetroot right here. Which, in my experience, is, is a really good source of uh, rose red. If you don't have the ability to get the rose red uh, pigment, uh, beetroot is, is actually the better way to do it. Because you can take beetroot and it makes rose red. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can also throw it in a crusher or a pulverizer. Or, yeah, crusher, you get two... An alloy smeltery with clay and eggs, you can get 12, which if, we, if we're really hurting for it, uh, put it in a mixer to make oily potion. Uh, crusher makes biofuel. Uh, in a shredder from hatchery, it makes rose red. So uh, we could put it in a sawmill. It makes uh, pulp mass, shipping bin. So yeah, probably... The crusher would probably be the, the thing that we make from extra utilities. But for now, we're good because if we need to, because it grows really, really fast, uh, we can always just do one-to-one -one if we need to. But right now, it's okay. It's okay. But I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. We're, all of our stuff is growing, and we're not even getting it picked up. So let's go uh, get all of our stuff. I need to make sure that I put away 
flax seeds and rice seeds. Uh, actually, let's take our seed situation. Let me grab all the seeds out of here. Rice seeds included. There we go. Rice seeds should go in there. Pumpkin seeds. Flax seeds should now go into our system over there. And we should be good. Okay. So I went ahead off camera and started preemptively running the cable until I found out that this was a 15 by 15 machine. So I do want to make sure that I dig back down through here and grab the cable as I go. And I'll need to go back up there. This comes out over here. And I'm not sure where that comes out at. So let's build ourselves up. All right, let's do this. Go down. Oh boy. We should be really close. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, we weren't that far off at all. I should be able just to dig over through here. Ta da! Ta da! And we can close this off. I hear you, Enderman. And we'll break this, so that way I can get myself up. Here we go. So what we'll do is we'll run these cables. We should have enough, because that went an extra step. And we should be able to block this off. Give me some more of these, please. And I don't want to make make any unnecessary holes if we do if we do make a hole that is not necessary i tend to want to fill it in uh do the fact that i don't want creatures just randomly spawning because if i'm coming down here to check on like pipe maintenance or i come down here and say hey what's going on uh why are we losing power blah 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 blah, blah then i can also always just come up here and um uh, troubleshoot but i'll do that and we're going to do a little, uh, like that. So that or there is some light down there. Like so. And so this thing should be powered up. And always on. And it should, after this progress bar fills up, boop. It just randomly, I think it randomly picks a tile. And it just, it just does it. It just goes. It just goes. And it will do this entire thing, or I can set it to area. And as you can see, it just did the entire area. I think that'd work. All right. So now that we've got that set up, we can come in behind it. Like so. And I want to grab myself an importer. So importer... Ooh, we actually have one ready to go. And I hope I have enough cables. But uh, we'll want to dig down here. Do that. Ooh, where are we? Oh, wow. We're really, really close to our... Uh, set up here. Wow, look at that. All right, let's get out of here. So I do want to run, where is our nearest, hello Enderman, you have a friend? Yeah you do, you guys just chill out there for a little bit. Alright, so we have a cable, I think a cable is running underneath here. Let's go down underneath, yeah I'm definitely not going to have enough cables for that, I don't know how many I have, I'll have to go up chop, oh let me out. I will have to go up top. 
figure out how many cables we need or have we have 23 yeah we're gonna need more uh so let's make some more of these hopefully we have enough stuff that definitely will be enough yeah that definitely will be enough all right let's run this cable real quick because i just noticed that uh we're running overtime We should have... Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Let's go this way with it. Uh, we don't need to go that far. Oh. And we can just go straight up. Awesome. Alrighty. Hmm. That is a very tough call right there. Let's uh put a torch down here. You know what? Let's Pipe off that water. That's going to be a nuisance if I don't. Yeah, let's just pull it from here because... Yeah, we should be able to do it from here. I'll just jump over this block. And... Oh yeah, that's not going to work. We'll have to do it this way. Yeah, because I missed a whole bunch. Well, that didn't work. That should be on now. Technically, it should be on. Grab some more stone. Wow, we go through stone like crazy. Go through stone like crazy. I should be able to patch this up. Like that. Uh, I don't know if anything can spawn down here. But I do want to make sure... That should be good. And then I can fill this in. Fill that in. So now this machine here should technically... Yep, it's importing items. And let's put a torch in there for safety. And there we go. Fill all this in. Uh, I knew I said we were going to get into mystical agriculture, but we it wound up turning into more of a farming video. But this also this this infrastructure and this foundation it was is a must need, uh, especially if we decide we want to improve upon it later. Uh, for the simple fact that if we do decide to start planting the agricultural crops over there, uh, we're going to need a way to, you know, harvest them. Simply put, we're going to have to need, uh, need a way to harvest them. So, in short, this was necessary, even though it, it may not have been relevant at, as this video. I mean, I guess it is relevant, but yeah. Awesome, awesome. I'm super, super happy about that. Uh, maybe in the future we can get some more, because uh, it actually takes a little bit of the, of the thing that we need uh to make the the seed that we want so like if we need uh, the zombie seed we need the chunk um so if we need this zombie seed we need the zombie chunk which needs rotten flesh with a mob chunk etc so i guess what i just need to do is we may just need to take another trip to the nether uh but before i go back to the nether i want to learn how to fly so we're gonna have to worry. Uh, we're gonna work on our way of getting flying next because there is a way. 
I, I looked it up. There is a way. And with as much as... Let's see. Do we have any feathers? Yes. We've been getting a lot of feathers from our loot bags. Uh, what I may do is open a bunch of them between episodes. Uh, so that way we can um, potentially get some good stuff. Uh, and hopefully we can get a lot of good uh, good items from this that can be useful in the future and not have to worry about too much. Other than that, it's just giving us re you know resources that we don't have to farm for in the in the future, like obsidian, uh, you know quartz enriched iron, that stuff, kind of stuff like that. More ender lilies. Thank you, thank you. I will go plant this right now. Awesome. We'll have an ender lily for later. Uh, so I don't know. Should like if you if you want you if you guys want me to open these bags on camera just to you know see what kind of loot we get, then let me know. I would like to hear from you to make sure that you know get confirmation because I don't want to open these things up and you guys you know feel like you're being left out. So let me know in the comments down below if you do want me to keep uh, keep you guys up to date and, and open open these type of things on camera because I will. I undoubtedly will, because I, I like opening them up, and uh, I like I like seeing what's inside them, and, and when we find like really good stuff, I'm like, yes, we got the good stuff. But anyway, thank everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or any tips, tricks, or anything that you would like me to build in the future, as far as stone block goes, please let me know in the comment section down below but thank you once again so much for watching and until next time see you later